Hey, it's Rick from Metagamers here, and today I'm going to be doing another Minecraft video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Pixelmon mod. Now, the Pixelmon mod is for all of you Pokemon fans out there. And what it's going to do is it's basically going to take your Minecraft game and transport you into the world of Pokemon. And there's all kinds of Pokemon to catch. It's got new textures and new sounds, and it also uh, enables you to evolve your Pokemon and go into battles and things like that. It's really, really cool. And in my opinion, if you own Minecraft and you're a Pokemon fan, uh, you owe it to yourself to check this out. Now, a couple of words here before we get started. I'm doing this on a Mac, so if you are on a PC, your instructions are going to be ever so slightly different. Uh, but you'll be able to figure it out. And if not, hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers, or you can reach out to me through the metagamers.com website, and I'll do my best to help you out. The other thing is use caution when you install any mod, not just this one, because you really want to follow the instructions to a T so that you don't end up messing up your Minecraft installation. Worst case, you would have to go back and reinstall. Now, if you follow the instructions, you shouldn't run into any problems, but again, you need to do this at your own discretion and at your own risk. So with that being said, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is open up your web browser and point it to pixelmonmod.com, and you see that right here. Once you are on this page, you're gonna click right under the download section this is going to pull you to the page that you see here. Now, there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of. With many mods, you need a loader, and this one is no different. They're using the Forge loader. And so this is the first thing you want to download. There is a link to download Forge. You'll find it right here. It says Forge. And you want to go with the most recent. So go ahead and click on that. And you're going to be brought to this page. Usually it's an, uh, an ad sort of page here. You're going to get some semi-deceiving messages that seem to say, hey, click here to start your download. Don't click on these because these are not for your actual download. And if you do download this stuff, it's going to put some uh, unnecessary things on your machine. So cancel out of that. Move on up to the upper right-hand side here where it says skip ad and click on that. And now you're going to see this is what you want to download. It is Forge, and you'll see the version number here. Make sure you've selected Save File and click OK. You'll see it download, and there it is right there. Now, I've already downloaded this particular file before, which is why you kind of see uh, the one next to it. What I'll do is I'll reopen this up to give you an idea of what this install looks like. So let me just go ahead and double click on that, and I'm going to open it up. It's going to give me a message that just says, hey, are you sure you want to open this up? Uh, it's from the Internet, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to say OK to that. Let me go ahead and clear this list while we're waiting for it to open. And I will minimize this for a minute. And here is what you'll be presented with. So you'll see Minecraft Forge. And you're going to select Install Client. You should be able to leave your directory location as is. Just take a glance and it should get you in the Application Support Minecraft folder. Hit OK. And you're going to see it go through the install process. And when it's done, you'll get a message like this. Hit OK again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go straight back to our browser and you want to go back to the Pixelmon page and from there we're going to go back to downloads and once we're on the download page notice Pixelmon 3.2.3 that's this guy right here we're going to move all the way to the right hand side where it says download click on that remember these are not the links that you want to click on to download so you get these guys X out Hit cancel, move to the top where it says skip ad, click on that. Give it a second. You're going to see 10, 9, 8, a countdown here. You're going to wait for that to go down to zero. And then you'll see that the download will become available for you. There it is. Download Pixelmon 3.2.3. So we're going to click on that. And you'll be presented with another screen. And there it is right there. Pixelmon 1, 7, 10, so forth and so on, 3.2.3, Universal, click on Download. We are presented with the familiar box here. You will see the name of the file. We're going to say Save File, and there it is. It is downloading it. While it's downloading it, I'm going to go ahead and close out my Safari browser. It sometimes pulls open a pop-up window if you don't have a pop-up blocker, so I'm going to close that out as well. I'm going to leave the page. We're going to wait for this to finish loading. While we are doing that, 
on the Mac, and remember on the PC it'll be a little bit different, but on the Mac you're going to go up to your Finder, make sure you've got it open, and then with Finder open go to Go and go to Folder. You want to type in what you see here. You want to go to the folder tilde, that's that squiggly line, library, application support, and then hit go. From here, you're going to be looking for your Minecraft folder. So let me go ahead and expand this. And there's mine, so open up the Minecraft folder. The next thing you need to look for is a folder called mods. Now, if you do not have the mods folder, you will need to right click select new folder and create a new one called mods. Now if you do have the mods folder you're going to open it up. Right now I only have the Orspawn mod and I will tell you this if you do have the Orspawn mod I have found that this mod will not play nice with other mods. Pixelmon is one of those so you're going to need to temporarily move the Orspawn mod out of the mods folder in order to get other mods to work. So click it and drag it out. Now if you don't have that mod, you don't have to worry about this. Now once your download has completed, you can either click on a single click and drag it to your mods folder, or if that doesn't work for you from the browser, you can definitely go into your directory structure, find your downloads folder, and click and drag it into this mods folder that I've shown you. Once that's completed, you'll simply close this out. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Minecraft. Now with Minecraft loaded up, the first thing you want to do is go over to your profile. You'll find it in the bottom left-hand corner. And in my instance, I've got Metagamers listed here. This is pretty much my generic non-modded version. You'll see it says ready to play Minecraft 1.7.10. Of course, you can use resource packs with this uh, profile. Yours is probably going to say something different here. Click on the double arrow here and you're going to find a profile called Forge. Now remember at the beginning of this video we installed Forge and that's why it set it up. You'll notice that it changes over here to the right. It says ready to play Minecraft 1.7.10 and then it gives a Forge release. Now to check that in greater detail with your profile name Forge selected, click on edit profile. And you'll look down here where it says use version and you're going to see release 1.7.10, that's your version of Minecraft. And then Forge 10.13.0.1180, that is your version of Forge. And at least at the time of this video, this is what is necessary for this version of Pixelmon to be used. What I like to do, and this is a really good kind of practice, if you've got a lot of different mods that require different versions, is I like to change the name. So if you see profile name here, what I'm going to do now is change that name from Forge to Pixelmon. So P-I-X-E-L-M-O-N. And now move down here to save profile. Now in my instance, I also have, remember I moved it over here, my Orspawn mod, because it doesn't like to play nice and it will crash if I have it in my mod folder. What I like to do is set up an additional profile for the Orspawn in this instance. And if you don't have this mod, you don't have to worry about this step, but I'll show you real quickly here. With the Pixelmon mod profile selected, click New Profile. It's going to say copy a Pixelmon, but I'm setting this up for Orspawn, so I'm going to change that name to O-R-E-S-P-A-W-N. And I know that with the Orspawn mod, it requires release 1.6.4 and then that version of Forge. So now I'm going to hit Save Profile. So you can see now I have three profiles. I've got my Metagamers one that says ready to play Minecraft 1.7.10. I've got my Orspawn one, which says it's ready to play Minecraft version 1.6.4 which is required for Orspawn. And then I've got my Pixelmon one, which says ready to play Minecraft 1.7.10. With all of this selected, click on play. And you'll see in just a moment here, as it loads up, we're gonna be greeted with the Pixelmon mod. So let me just show you a couple of things about it real quickly. And then in the future, we will be doing some additional uh, Pixelmon mods because it's a really cool one. Uh, the first thing you want to do is if you use resource packs you want to go here to where it says options and with options go to resource packs and make sure that any resource packs that maybe like these things you click the arrow to move it over to the available side and your selected resource pack is set to the default so we'll select done there. I'm just gonna go into a single player here and I'll create a new world and I'm gonna call it Pixelmon 
And now with that, I'll just leave it at survival and all of these things and create a new world. It'll take just a few moments here. And I'm not going to go into the full uh, game itself, but I want to give you a quick, uh, just brief look here. You'll see it is a fan-made mod and all trademarks and copyright for Pokemon are owned by Nintendo and Game Freak. And like I said, this changes Minecraft. And if you are a Pokemon fan, you definitely want to check this out. Very cool. You get to choose your starter Pokemon. I'm going to choose Charmander. Let me turn up the volume just a little bit. Now, I do have a skin on my guy. It's Jack Skellington, at least for now. And as you play through, you're going to notice there are some differences here. And already we can see some Pokemon there in the distance and off in the, in, in the distance as well. And it's really, really cool. And there's my Pokemon. So that is how you install. Oh, there's a Zubat. That is how you install Pixelmon for Minecraft. If you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, as always, please feel free to let me know. I am more than happy to help you out as I can. Hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers. Head on over to metagamers.com. And I will catch you guys all next time. Take care, everybody. And happy hunting for Pokemon. Take care and have fun.